Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is for Illustrator and it's a very kind of quirky, unique way to go about getting colors for a design. Um, I know a lot of times when I go to set out to make a design or make you know anything that involves a kind of structured color palette, there can be barriers where you're like, well, what kind of blue do I choose? What kind of yellow? Or you know, where do I really begin? Um, and I've found a really kind of unique way to go about grabbing just kind of a starting color palette is to find an image that you like the colors of. So if I was going to be designing a website that, you know, maybe it's for a children's hospital or something that you want to have this kind of uplift, uplifting feel and you think to yourself, well, you know, I want it to kind of have the uplifting, uplifting feel of a sunny day. I would just go to Google and, you know, no copyright infringement intended for any of these photos that popped up here. But let's just find one that really kind of has the feel of the color palette that I want. Like this one here, you know, greens and blues with kind of hints of white. That'll work. So I grab that. All I have to do is just copy it, paste it into Illustrator. And then what we can do is I'm going to just take all of these current swatches here. These are the default Illustrator set. And I'm just going to do select all unused, which should be all of them, and delete them. And almost always these other ones are left behind. You can just grab them and chuck those too. Uh, then what you do is grab your raster image here and do object, live trace, tracing options. Um, and we're actually not going to use the live trace data, so don't worry about that because live trace is kind of frowned upon by pretty much everyone because it's junky, but ignore that and just switch your mode to color. And then for your color palette, um, I'm really only going to need a few colors here. You know, most designs you don't have 10, 12, 15 defined colors. You usually have like two or three, maybe four with an accent color. So I'm just going to leave the palette at automatic because that way it'll pick kind of the the main colors of the image and I'm going to leave the max colors at six you could you know jack this way up or turn it way down usually six seven eight is about what you need and then what you do is you check this box here for output to swatches and that'll actually take the colors that it finds and output them to your swatches to use and then the other thing you do is turn up the blur to you know enough to where it would blur out the image fairly well this image isn't too big, so a blur of about you know six or so is going to work. And then once I've done that, um, and you can hit preview to see what it's going to do here. Actually, that's a little severe. We'll turn it down. Okay, that's about good. Um, hit trace. Let your computer think for a second. And then when it's done, um, you can just grab the image and delete it. And now I've actually got a color palette here and it kind of went crazy. It gave me too many because I forgot to turn the box down. But all of these colors kind of, the, they'll, they'll harmonize well and they'll work well if you use them in a design. They'll work well if you use them in, uh, you know, any context. Because now that they're detached from that image, um, we know that they all family well because they came from that photograph that familyed real well. But in the design, I don't have to worry about, you know, what do I do for a light blue? What do I do for a dark blue? And I don't spend, you know, 20 minutes in the color palette tweaking which colors I want. Um, so this is kind of a unique way to build a color palette. Uh, you know, there are sites specifically for color palettes. That always works too. Um, but I've found that this, it it's a unique way of doing it. That's, that's the best way to say it. And it, it really it cuts out that kind of strange process where you can't, you have creative block and you don't know where to go. Um, and even a lot of times just seeing the color palette that it spits out is gonna just give you ideas or at least it works for me to give me ideas. So like if we just take this one, do it real quick, live trace, tracing options, color, max color six, trace, and there we go. These are all from the previous one. You can see that by doing this, um, it really just, at least to me, it really helps just nail down colors real quick so that you can get started without having to worry about picking a palette first. 
Um, so that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, and hope it was helpful.